Hi, I'm Hannah Bottoman and this is Ask Me Anything. Okay, what's your favourite bar slash restaurant since moving to Bristol? Oh my goodness. I've been really boring since I've come and I haven't actually gone out loads. But my favourite restaurant that I've been to, I think is actually Paco, which is like a tapas -y restaurant. Thoroughly enjoyed that. And it's, I, I actually can't even think of anything else. That's so dead. Who is the best player you have played with or against? I think bias I may be. The most talented player I've played with is Holly Aitchison. And the player that I least like playing against is Medusa Fall. I lost my tooth in a red once. Um, probably my fault, but proper, proper hard player to play against. If you could listen to one artist for the rest of your life, who would it be? Um, currently, I am a massive Noah Kahan fan. Um, so right now I would listen to him. If it was anyone else, bit basic, but Drake has a lot of bangers. He's got a lot of features on a lot of songs. Um, and I think that he is probably someone that I potentially could. You get to pick three Bears players, men or women, to survive a zombie apocalypse. Who do you pick? Funny story, me, Sarah Byrne and Abby Ward used to play a lot of Xbox and we used to play zombies in on Xbox. So um, I would have to pick those two to come with me on my uh, apocalyptic journey. I've got to put a men's player in there. Um, who do I think would be handy in a zombie apocalypse? Probably someone to headbutt them, so probably Genji, I reckon. What is your proudest career moment? Proudest career moment is probably when we played the Six Nations final game at Twickenham with 58,000 people. Uh, that was a, a pretty, pretty crazy moment, very proud moment. What is your tip for a young girl who plays rugby but gets picked on? My tip would be that the people that are picking on you probably don't know anything about it, probably aren't very good friends to, I'd imagine. So my tip would be to try and stay clear of those people. But yeah, surround yourself with people that obviously appreciate that you play um, and probably find it quite cool that you play because it is cool for girls to play rugby. Um, how long did it take you to learn the words to Blackbird? So I, the first game, really didn't know it. Second game, didn't know it. Then I thought, okay, I'm gonna have to learn it. So I, I had a full on revision session and I go to bed singing it because apparently if you do stuff before you sleep, it sticks in your brain. So I go to bed singing it. Where do you get your swag from? <laughs> what? what? Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily say I have swag. Um, so therefore I wouldn't know where I get it from. Um, I would say my mum, but it's definitely not. So I guess it's just something you're born with, maybe. But I wouldn't say I have swag.